First of all, I think it's very important to understand we don't want to take somebody who has some sort of medical condition or disability that requires drugs and say he cannot participate at an elite level. So they, they sh there is a process in place which enables an athlete who would be starting below the level playing field to come up to the level playing field but not exceeding it. And so if you have a disorder which requires a medicine that is otherwise banned, what do you do? Well, the process called, is called the therapeutic use exemption process. Basically, the athlete would present evidence from experts who take care of him or her, saying that a certain disorder exists. That would, would go to an independent panel of experts with the name uh, redacted out, and they would look at the data the medical data in support of the diagnosis for which the athlete was seeking a permission to use the drug. So step one is for the panel to agree there was a disorder. Step two is to ask the question, is there an alternative drug that can be used to treat that condition which is not prohibited? If the answer is yes and does not compromise the athlete's health, then the answer is you can't use a prohibited substance, you have to use the alternative. If it turns out you can only use a prohibited substance, then they will get a, an approval, they'll get an exemption, a therapeutic use, they can use it for therapeutic purpose, therapeutic use exemption. And the exemption will stipulate the drug, the dose, the duration, and the monitoring, so that one doesn't use, if, for example, they had a problem and then abused the right that they got through their exemption. So they, a certain dose was okay. They said, well, I'll take three times that amount. I already got an approval, so I can now. So we monitor that. And that's a rather tedious process, but it's trying to assure that we're not in any way uh, making it impossible uh, for somebody who's sick to put participating, quite the opposite. <laughs> For the most part, we should take their hats off to these people because they've overcome disabilities. Uh, but the, the, for it to work, it has to be very carefully administered. It should be a before-the-fact decision. Independence is a very important part of it. Anonymity is a very important part of it. And, it, and it's, uh, it's been very effective.